Hey everyone, this is Stepan with Claire Online Video, and I want to welcome you to this tutorial on creating a moving time lapse effect using Adobe After Effects Creative Cloud 2014. Now, a short while back, I showed you how to add a slider or jib effect to your time lapses by using Adobe Premiere with 2K footage in a 1080 sequence. Be sure to check out that tutorial for a simple way on achieving this look. This tutorial is going to show you a more advanced method of that technique with the use of a few extra features in Adobe After Effects. We'll start with importing the clip into Adobe After Effects. We'll create a new composition and choose a 1080 preset. Next, we'll add a 2K or even a 4K clip to the timeline. You can turn the audio off for this clip by selecting the speaker button to the left of your clip since we're not concerned with audio. The first step we'll take is to adjust the duration of our clip to 10 seconds. You can do this by right-clicking in this area and scrolling down to Column. Here you want to make sure that the check mark next to Duration is enabled. Now we can alter the duration of this clip and have After Effects do the math for us. We know we want a finished clip length of 10 seconds. So let's enter that as the new duration. Press OK and now After Effects has adjusted the length of our clip to fit the 10 second duration. I'll fast forward and do a RAM preview so you can see what our clip looks like. As you can see, our clip is now starting to look like a time lapse. Next, we're going to turn on a few other options to give this time lapse a little more production value. We'll start with enabling the frame blending options. This will smooth out the transition between all the frames in our time lapse. We'll enable this both universally and for our clip itself. Select the toggle switches slash modes button if you do not see the frame blending option. I'll fast forward and do another RAM preview to show you what things look like after this step. Next, we'll enable another option called Motion Blur. Again, we'll do this universally and then also to the clip itself. I'll do another RAM preview here. Just with these two options enabled, we start to see a powerful sense of motion in this time lapse. Now we're ready to add the slider or jib effect to this project. As a reminder, we have extra pixels to work with since we have 2K source footage. Now we can reposition our video and have it move over time by adding a few keyframes. With a clip selected, press P to reveal the position values. Make sure the CTI is at the beginning of your clip and now we can begin to reposition our video. We want to have this start from the upper left and then pan and tilt down to the right. We'll enable keyframes by clicking the watch button and adjust our starting value. We'll right click our starting keyframe and select Keyframe Assistant Easy Ease Out. Next, we'll move to the 9 second area where we want our move to land. Here, again, we can reposition the video by adjusting our values to the left and to the right. Let's smooth out this keyframe by right clicking and again selecting Keyframe Assistant, but this time Easy Ease In. I'll do a RAM preview and show you what our project looks like. Now you can stop here and export the video, but I'm going to add a few more things since we're already in After Effects. While I like what we've done with this, I want to make the video stand out a bit more since this footage is fairly flat. We'll start by navigating to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. Check out my tutorial on adjustment layers to see how handy these can be with your video projects. Now with our adjustment layer selected, we can navigate to Effect, Color Correction, then Brightness and Contrast. Dragging to the right on this value will increase the contrast to our video. We can also go back to Effect, Color Correction, and this time select Vibrance. Here we can add some more color to our video by again dragging to the right of the Vibrance value. You can continue to add effects or filters to your liking, but you can see how we can quickly enhance our videos with After Effects. Here's a RAM preview of what everything looks like. And there you have it. Just a few ways on how to enhance your time lapse with After Effects. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out my other tutorials here on Streaming Media Producer.